Well, it's been a busy year, that's for sure. I was beginning to think I bit off more than I could chew, but I'm getting caught up now and everything's falling into place. The firewood's just about done, and the chimneys and stoves are all cleaned out and ready for several months of steady burning. My apprentice pays close attention to the task at hand, but he had a bit of difficulty with the safety equipment. And then he tried to make a game out of it. <laughs> Frankie always provides better entertainment than he does assistance. <laughs> Well, folks, there's the little workshop. I still have a few things to button up before winter here. I know it would have looked better if I would have used the shingles all the way down, but I had all the metal roofing, so that was a money saver for me. All that metal roofing, I took that off of a job maybe 10, 12 years ago, I had gotten paid pretty good to dismantle a couple buildings and I brought home a lot of that metal roofing and I haven't used it aside from covering lumber piles but I decided I'd put it there it was just to save myself some money otherwise I would have had to ply with the roof I would have had to build it a little bit stronger than I did those architectural shingles get a lot of weight to them and I would have had to buy the shingles so this was a lot cheaper for me yeah, I got the chimney in up there. I still got to put the storm collar around it. Uh, but everything's watertight. All set for winter now. Now under here, I'm just going to stack a little bit of wood. I really don't intend on blocking this all up. I want to be able to park my quad or a snow machine under there. Or if I'm working in there and I want to rip some boards or do some cutting with my chop saw, I can do it out here even if the rain's coming down. Any snow that melts from the heat of the chimney will come down and hopefully should just slide off rather than drip down and then build an ice dam. So this will probably work out better. And it really doesn't look too bad. So on the inside here, I've got it all insulated all covered with OSB board. The chimney is in and ready. I just got to get the wood stove in here and put some uh, fireproofing on the wall. And I got my pull down attic stairs so I can access all my storage up there. Yeah, you should have seen me putting up the OSB board on the ceiling by myself. Putting four by eight sheets overhead, holding them in place, nailing them down. <laughs> it was quite a circus. I was going to go and try and round up some help, but I figured it was going to take me longer to get help than it would be just to get her done. So I made a little jig with some 2x4s and it actually worked out pretty good. It was a little bit of a struggle, but not too bad. I got everything in place, everything fitted good, got it to nail down. I was very pleased with that. Yeah. So I'm anxious to get this place outfitted, get some workbenches built in here cabinets and shelves and, and then later in the winter get my buddy joe here get the fire going have a few beers work on a few crafts maybe fix some old axe heads or something it'll be fun i'm looking forward to it so i just had this delivered it arrived a few minutes ago and uh let's take a closer look at it sure how I was going to lay it out on the inside so I ordered it with no windows. This end over here is going to be a commercial kitchen for my business and I'm going to lay out all the cabinetry and then decide where the windows are going to go. I just couldn't decide ahead of time how I was going to lay everything out and I figured it was going to be easier to put in the windows rather than move them. So, at some point when I have a little time, I'll monkey with that. But it's nice to have the building here. Now a lot of folks have asked where I get my water, 
how I do my laundry, things like that. Well, my homestead is on the grid, and I have all those facilities there. But here at the cabin, the cabin's pretty small, plus it's a half a mile back. I'm not going to get well trucks and stuff like that back there. This building is up near the entrance to the cabin road. And because my business needs a well, it needs a freezer, it also needs laundry facilities, all of that stuff will be in this building. No one lives in this building. So everything in this building is entirely written off under business expenses. Nobody can deny that. So the well, laundry facilities, the freezer, all that stuff is going to be here, written off under the business. And that's just good business sense. I always tell people, make everything you love a business. That way, it's not such a chore making a living. And everything looks good. Built nice and sturdy. And I was in the building trade for maybe 20 years or so. And sometimes it seems kind of funny ordering a building. But for the time it would take me to build this, and what I have invested in this. Now look at this. It's 14 by 24. It's 2 by 4 walls, 16 on center. It's got 5 eighths T111 on the walls, 2 by 6, 16 on center, with 5 eighths plywood on the roof. The floor is pressure treated, framed 12 inches on center, and it's on 4 by 4 skids, which are pressure treated. It's got bubble foil insulation in the floor, insulated door there, garage door. Everything's nicely built. And it comes shingled, trimmed out, and painted, and delivered. Not bad. Can't argue with that, man. Well worth it. Now quite often I have folks that are a bit confused about what I'm keeping, what I'm selling, especially the newcomers to my channel. As they come to my channel, they see videos with the cabin, then they see the New Hampshire cabin, they see the homestead. I'm talking about selling out. They get confused. So instead of typing all of that out all the time, I'll explain what I'm doing. Anything titled Backwoods Cabin is filmed here. This is a small cabin off the grid, half a mile back in the woods. Uh, it's been my little getaway. In a video, maybe a year or so ago, you saw me standing out here in the front yard talking about how possibly in the future I would have a building up in the front for my business and then I'd live back here in the cabin. Well, that's the plan. The building was delivered this morning. The project is underway. Now the New Hampshire cabin, it's appropriately titled New Hampshire cabin. That's a family camp. Been in my family my whole life. I bought it from the family. I'm restoring it. Uh, my intentions are to sell my homestead and then just live in both of the cabins and bounce back and forth. There's things in New Hampshire I don't have here. There's things here I don't have in New Hampshire. My intentions are just bounce back and forth, have the best of both worlds. All my life, I dreamed about living in that camp at least part of the year. And since I settled up here in New York, many, many times I've written in my journal how I'd like to just sell out and live in between the two cabins. I'm tired of talking about it, tired of dreaming about it. The wheels are in motion. That's the plan. So in the meantime here, I'm going to put all the projects to bed and concentrate my efforts on getting one of them white-tailed deer everyone's always raving about. <laughs> it's time to fill the freezer. So all the best to you, and God bless.